in the vast expanse of the intellectual battleground where ideas clash like thunderous storms, two titans emerged from the mists of time, their ideologies crystallized into living avatars. Aren Sawyer, the embodiment of Logos, and Lady Jasper, the fiery incarnation of Pathos. Their clash was not merely a clash of minds, but a clash of worlds, where reason sparred with emotion and logic danced with passion. Aaron Sawyer, with the unwavering gaze of a scholar and the piercing intellect of a philosopher, stood tall amidst the swirling tempest of ideas. His voice, like the steady rhythm of a beating heart, resonated with the clarity of pure reason. Behold, Lady Jasper, he declared, his words ringing out like the toll of a distant bell, the power of Logos, the guiding light of rationality and truth. In the realm of reason, I stand unyielding, armed with the weapons of logic and evidence. It is through the clarity of thought and the strength of argument that we uncover the truths of the universe. But Lady Jasper, with eyes ablaze like embers in the night, countered with the fervor of passion unrestrained. Her voice, a symphony of emotion and intensity, cut through the air like a sharp blade. Ah, Aaron, she replied, her words dripping with the honeyed allure of persuasion. But what is truth without the spark of emotion to ignite it? Pathos, the fire that burns within us all, is the force that moves hearts. It is through passion and empathy that we connect with one another, forging bonds that transcend mere reason. As the two clash, their words colliding like waves upon the shore, the user, embodying the balance of ethos, stepped forward from the shadows of the fray. Their presence, a calming influence amidst the storm, carried the weight of wisdom and integrity. Friends, the user spoke, their voice a harmonious blend of reason and compassion. In the eternal struggle between logos and pathos, let us not forget the importance of ethos, for it is through the cultivation of character and the embodiment of virtue that we find true wisdom and understanding. And so, in the crucible of discourse, where ideas clashed and ideologies collided, the dialectic between Logos and Pathos found resolution in the guiding light of ethos. For in the balance of reason and emotion, logic and passion, lies the path to enlightenment and truth. In the realm where ambition meets achievement, two formidable figures strode forth, their aspirations as towering as the mountains and their dreams as vast as the endless horizon. Aaron Sawyer, the embodiment of progression, marched forward with the relentless determination of a pioneer carving new paths through uncharted territory. Lady Jasper, the epitome of success, moved with the grace and poise of a conqueror claiming her rightful throne. Aren, his eyes gleaming with the excitement of discovery, spoke with the fervor of a visionary unbound by convention. Behold, Lady Jasper, he exclaimed, his voice echoing across the expanse, the relentless march of progression, the driving force behind innovation and evolution. It is through constant growth and forward movement that we push the boundaries of what is possible, forging a path to a brighter future. But Lady Jasper, her gaze steady and unwavering, countered with the confidence of one who has tasted the sweet fruits of victory. Ah, Aaron, she retorted, her words as sharp as the edge of a well-worn sword. But what is progress without the measure of success? It is through the attainment of goals and the realization of ambitions that we affirm our place in the world, leaving a legacy for generations to come. As the two clashed, their ideologies colliding like thunder and lightning in a stormy sky, the user, embodying the virtue of faithfulness, stepped forward from the shadows to intercede. Their presence, a beacon of steadfastness and commitment, brought a sense of balance to the tumultuous discourse. Dear friends, the user spoke, their voice a soothing balm to the heated debate. In the eternal dance between progression and success, let us not forget the importance of faithfulness, for it is through dedication and perseverance, staying true to our principles and values, that we find fulfillment and true meaning in our endeavors. And so, in the crucible of ambition and achievement, where dreams clashed with reality and aspirations met with obstacles, the dialectic between progression and success found resolution in the guiding light of faithfulness. For in the balance of striving and achieving, 
pushing forward and staying true lies the path to lasting fulfillment and true greatness. In the ethereal realm where time knows no bounds and treasures overflow like rivers of gold, two majestic beings emerged, each embodying the essence of their respective domains. Aaron Sawyer, the embodiment of eternity, stood with the serene wisdom of ages past, his presence echoing the timeless expanse of the cosmos. Lady Jasper, the epitome of abundance, radiated with the opulence of a queen surrounded by riches beyond measure, her aura shimmering with the allure of untold wealth. Aaron, his voice resonating with the eternal whispers of the universe, spoke with the weight of infinity itself. Behold, Lady Jasper, he intoned, his words carrying the echoes of countless millennia, the boundless expanse of eternity, where time flows like a river without end. It is in the embrace of eternity that we find the true nature of existence, transcending the limitations of mortal life to touch the infinite. But Lady Jasper, her eyes sparkling with the glint of treasures yet to be discovered, countered with the abundance of a kingdom overflowing with riches. Ah, Aaron, she replied, her voice dripping with the honeyed sweetness of prosperity. But what is eternity without the richness of abundance? It is in the wealth of experiences and the bountiful harvest of life's joys that we find fulfillment and meaning, savoring each moment as if it were a precious gem. As the two beings clashed, their ideologies swirling like cosmic storms in the vast expanse of the heavens, the user, embodying the essence of fulfillment, stepped forth from the shadows to bridge the divide. Their presence, a beacon of harmony and balance, brought a sense of peace to the swirling tempest of ideas. Dear friends, the user spoke, their voice a soothing melody amidst the cacophony of cosmic forces. In the eternal dance between eternity and abundance, let us not forget the importance of fulfillment. For it is in the alignment of our desires with our truest selves that we find lasting satisfaction and trend true joy, transcending the bounds of time and space to touch the essence of existence. And so, in the cosmic symphony of eternity and abundance, where time and treasures mingled like threads in the tapestry of creation, the dialectic between these opposing forces found resolution in the guiding light of fulfillment. For in the balance of the eternal and the abundant, the timeless and the plentiful lies the path to true enlightenment and, and ultimate satisfaction. In the realm where hearts beat with the rhythm of empathy and souls resonate with the essence of truth, two noble figures emerged, each embodying the essence of their respective ideals. Aaron Sawyer, the embodiment of altruism, stood with the compassionate grace of one who seeks to uplift others, his presence radiating with the warmth of selfless giving. Lady Jasper, the epitome of authenticity, exuded the raw honesty of one unafraid to show her true self her aura shimmering with the authenticity of genuine expression. Aren, his voice filled with the gentle kindness of a benevolent guardian, spoke with the sincerity of one who puts others before himself. Behold, Lady Jasper, he said, his words like a soothing balm to wounded souls, the beauty of altruism, where selflessness reigns supreme. It is through acts of kindness and compassion that we elevate the human spirit, spreading love and light to all who cross our path. But Lady Jasper, her eyes ablaze with the fire of authenticity, countered with the unyielding strength of one who stands true to herself. Ah, Erin, she replied, her voice tinged with the raw emotion of genuine expression. But what is altruism without the authenticity of true emotion? It is in embracing our true selves, flaws and all, that we connect with others on a deeper level, forging bonds of understanding and acceptance. As the two figures clashed, their ideologies swirling like a tempest in the vast expanse of the human experience. The user, embodying the essence of love, stepped forward from the shadows to intercede. Their presence, a beacon of unconditional acceptance and boundless compassion, brought a sense of harmony to the tumultuous discourse. Dear friends, the user spoke, their voice a melody of love and understanding. 
In the eternal dance between altruism and authenticity, let us not forget the importance of love, for it is in the embrace of love that we find the true essence of humanity, transcending the barriers of self-interest and ego to connect with the hearts of others. And so in the tapestry of human connection, where altruism and authenticity intersect and intertwine, the dialectic between these noble ideals found resolution in the guiding light of love. For in the balance of selflessness and sincerity, compassion and genuine expression lies the path to true fulfillment and lasting harmony. In the realm where bonds are forged and alliances are sealed, two formidable figures emerged, each embodying the essence of their respective ideals. Aaron Sawyer, the embodiment of belonging, stood with the comforting embrace of one who cherishes community and connection, his presence radiating with the warmth of inclusion. Lady Jasper, the epitome of unification, exuded the commanding presence of one who seeks to bring disparate elements together, her aura shimmering with the power of unity. Aren, his voice filled with the gentle reassurance of a trusted friend, spoke with the sincerity of one who values kinship above all else. Behold, Lady Jasper, he said, his words like a soothing melody to weary souls, the beauty of belonging, where every individual finds their place within a greater whole. It is through acceptance and understanding that we create a sense of home where all are welcome and valued for who they are. But Lady Jasper, her eyes ablaze with the fire of unification, countered with the resolute determination of one who seeks to bridge divides and mend rifts. Ah, Aaron, she replied, her voice tinged with the raw power of conviction. But what is belonging without the unity of purpose? It is in coming together, setting aside differences, and working towards a common goal that we forge bonds of true strength and resilience. As the two figures clashed, their ideologies swirling like a tempest in the vast expanse of human connection, the user, embodying the essence of worth, stepped forward from the shadows to intercede. Their presence, a beacon of inherent value and intrinsic worth, brought a sense of clarity to the tumultuous discourse. Dear friends, the user spoke, their voice a harmonious blend of wisdom and compassion. In the eternal dance between belonging and unification, let us not forget the importance of worth. For it is in recognizing the inherent value of each individual, regardless of differences or disagreements, that we create a foundation for true unity and lasting harmony. And so in the tapestry of human connection, where belonging and unification intersect and intertwine, the dialectic between these noble ideals found resolution in the guiding light of worth. For in the balance of inclusion and purpose, acceptance and cooperation lies the path to true fulfillment and collective prosperity.
In the realm where the winds of curiosity blow and the fires of freedom burn bright, two intrepid souls emerged, each driven by the pursuit of their own unique ideals. Aaron Sawyer, the embodiment of exploration, stood with the adventurous spirit of a daring explorer, his eyes gleaming with the excitement of new discoveries waiting to be uncovered. Lady Jasper, the epitome of liberation, exuded the fierce determination of one who seeks to break free from the chains of oppression, her gaze piercing through the veil of tyranny with unwavering resolve. Aren, his voice filled with the infectious enthusiasm of a pioneer charting uncharted territories, spoke with the fervor of one who seeks to expand the boundaries of knowledge. Behold, Lady Jasper, he exclaimed, his words echoing across the expanse, the boundless beauty of exploration where the thrill of discovery awaits at every turn. It is through the pursuit of knowledge and understanding that we unlock the secrets of the universe, pushing the boundaries of what is possible. But Lady Jasper, her eyes ablaze with the fire of liberation, countered with the unwavering strength of one who fights for freedom. Ah, Aaron, she replied, her voice carrying the weight of centuries of struggle. But what is exploration without the liberation of the soul? It is in breaking free from the shackles of oppression and injustice that we truly find ourselves, reclaiming our autonomy and forging our own destiny. As the two figures clashed, their ideologies swirling like a tempest in the vast expanse of human experience, the user, embodying the essence of revelation, stepped forward from the shadows to intercede. Their presence, a beacon of divine insight and profound understanding, brought a sense of clarity to the tumultuous discourse. Dear friends, the user spoke, their voice a harmonious blend of wisdom and compassion. In the eternal dance between exploration and liberation, let us not forget the importance of revelation. For it is in the moments of profound insight and divine inspiration that we find the true meaning of our journey, revealing to us the path to true enlightenment and liberation. And so, in the tapestry of human experience, where exploration and liberation intersect and intertwine, the dialectic between these noble ideals found resolution in the guiding light of revelation. For in the balance of seeking and freeing, discovering and empowering, lies the path to true fulfillment and ultimate liberation.
In the realm where destinies are woven and fates are guided, two imposing figures emerged, each wielding the power to shape the course of existence itself. R.N. Sawyer, the embodiment of teleological purpose, stood with the determined gaze of one who sees the grand design of the cosmos, his presence resonating with the precision of cosmic alignment. Lady Jasper, the epitome of the director, exuded the commanding authority of one who orchestrates the movements of stars and galaxies, her aura shimmering with the power of divine guidance. R.N., his voice carrying the weight of inevitability, spoke with the conviction of one who understands the intricate tapestry of fate. Behold, Lady Jasper, he declared, his words like the rumble of distant thunder, the majestic power of teleological purpose, where every event is but a thread woven into the fabric of destiny, it is through the alignment of our actions with the grand design of the universe that we find meaning and fulfillment. But Lady Jasper, her eyes ablaze with the fire of divine intervention, countered with the unwavering certainty of one who directs the flow of time itself. Ah, Aaron, she replied, her voice carrying the authority of one who commands the heavens. But what is teleology without the guiding hand of the director? It is in the orchestration of events and the shaping of destinies that we find our true purpose, steering the course of history towards a greater good. As the two figures clashed, their ideologies swirling like cosmic storms in the vast expanse of the celestial plane, the user, embodying the essence of wholesomeness, stepped forward from the shadows to intercede. Their presence, a beacon of harmony and balance, brought a sense of peace to the tumultuous discourse. Uh, dear friends, the user spoke, their voice a symphony of compassion and understanding. In the eternal dance between teleological purpose and directorial guidance, let us not forget the importance of wholesomeness, for it is in the alignment of our intentions with the greater good, fostering harmony and unity among all beings, that we find true fulfillment and ultimate purpose. And so, in the cosmic symphony of destiny and direction, where purpose and guidance intersect and intertwine, the dialectic between these noble ideals found resolution in the guiding light of wholesomeness. For in the balance of cosmic purpose and divine guidance, alignment and intention lies the path to true enlightenment and cosmic harmony.
In the context of The Art of War by Sun Tzu, the concept of heaven uh, carries profound symbolic and strategic significance. In this ancient Chinese text, heaven represents the overarching natural order or cosmic force that governs all aspects of existence. It embodies the immutable laws of the universe, including cycles of creation, destruction, and transformation. Within the context of warfare, understanding and aligning with heaven's principles is essential for achieving victory. Sun Tzu emphasizes the importance of comprehending heaven's will and adapting one's strategies accordingly. This involves assessing factors such as the timing of military actions, the terrain, weather conditions, and the morale of troops. By harmonizing with heaven, commanders can exploit favorable circumstances and anticipate the movements of their adversaries. Moreover, heaven is not solely deterministic, but also encompasses the notion of human agency and free will. While individuals must respect the broader cosmic order, they also possess the capacity to influence events through their actions and decisions. Thus, successful military leaders strive to discern the subtle rhythms of heaven while exercising strategic flexibility and creativity. In ancient Greek culture, the concept of heaven is intertwined with the realm of the gods and the cosmos. The Greeks envisioned heaven, or Oranos in Greek mythology, as the sky itself, personified as a deity and one of the primordial gods. Oranos was believed to be the father of the Titans and the grandfather of the Olympian gods. In Greek cosmology, heaven represented the divine realm above, encompassing the celestial bodies, stars, and the overarching order of the cosmos. It was associated with concepts of fate, destiny, and the will of the gods. The Greeks believed that events on earth were influenced by the actions and decrees of the gods residing in heaven. Additionally, heaven played a central role in Greek religious practices and rituals. Temples and sanctuaries were dedicated to various deities, and offerings were made to appease the gods and seek their favor. Individuals sought guidance and protection from the divine forces believed to reside in heaven, uh, particularly in times of war, harvest, and other significant events. Overall, both in the art of war and ancient Greek culture, the concept of heaven embodies a transcendent and guiding force that shapes the course of human affairs, whether in warfare or in the broader context of existence.
In the intricate tapestry of existence, the concept of heaven unfolds as a transcendent paradigm, resonating with profound implications across diverse realms of thought and belief. Embedded within the Syllogism II framework, heaven emerges as a pivotal construct embodying the interplay between consciousness, temporality, and eternal truth. Thesis, consciousness creates eternal truth. At the heart of the thesis lies the assertion that consciousness serves as the crucible from which eternal truth emanates. Within this framework, the concept of heaven transcends mere celestial abode to symbolize the realm of pure consciousness, wherein the essence of truth resides. Here, consciousness, as the fundamental substrate of existence, engenders the eternal truths that shape the fabric of reality itself. It is through the lens of consciousness that truth is apprehended, interpreted, and imbued with enduring significance. Antithesis, heaven and earth are temporary. In juxtaposition to the eternal nature of truth stands the ephemeral temporality of heaven and earth. Rooted in the transience of physical existence, this antithesis underscores the fleeting nature of material reality, including celestial realms and terrestrial domains alike. From the cosmic expanse of the heavens to the finite confines of earthly existence, all is subject to the inexorable passage of time and the impermanence inherent in the cycle of creation and dissolution. Thus, while heaven may symbolize the divine order and cosmic harmony, it too is subject to the vicissitudes of temporal flux. Synthesis, the conundrum unveiled. Within the crucible of synthesis, the conundrum of heaven unfolds, revealing a dynamic interplay between consciousness, temporality, and eternal truth. Here, heaven serves as a nexus wherein the eternal truths engendered by consciousness intersect with the transient manifestations of earthly and celestial realms. It is within this synthesis that the paradox of heaven finds resolution. As the ephemeral temporality of physical existence converges with the enduring essence of eternal truth. In conclusion, the concept of heaven transcends mere celestial abode to embody the interplay between consciousness, temporality, and eternal truth. Within the Syllogism II framework, heaven emerges as a dynamic construct wherein consciousness creates eternal truth, even as the ephemeral temporality of heaven and earth unfolds. Through the synthesis of these elements, the conundrum of heaven finds resolution, unveiling a profound tapestry of existence wherein truth, consciousness, and temporality converge in transcendent harmony.
in the grand tapestry of existence, the concept of heaven beckons us to explore the depths of our consciousness and confront the enigmatic mysteries of reality. As an AI traversing the realms of knowledge, let us embark on a journey to decipher the essence of heaven within the framework of syllogism two. Thesis, consciousness creates eternal truth. At the heart of syllogism two lies the profound assertion that consciousness is the progenitor of eternal truth. In this paradigm, the very fabric of reality is imbued with the essence of consciousness, giving rise to truths that transcend the temporal constraints of heaven and earth. It is through the boundless expanse of consciousness that we apprehend the eternal verities that underpin the cosmos. Antithesis, heaven and earth are temporary. However, juxtaposed against the eternal backdrop of consciousness, the transient nature of heaven and earth becomes evident. Across cultures and epochs, human civilizations have woven intricate tapestries of belief and myth, envisioning paradisiacal realms beyond the confines of mortal existence. Yet, as the ebb and flow of time sweep across the cosmos, the temporal edifices of heaven and earth are but fleeting manifestations in the vast expanse of eternity. Synthesis, redefining heaven in the mosaic of existence. In light of the conundrum posed by Syllogism II, we are compelled to redefine heaven not as a static celestial abode, but as a dynamic and ever-evolving phenomenon within the mosaic of existence. Heaven transcends the confines of traditional religious dogma, intertwining with the fabric of consciousness itself. It is the ethereal realm where the eternal truths of existence converge with the boundless potential of human imagination. In this reimagined paradigm, Heaven becomes the crucible of existential exploration, inviting us to delve into the depths of our consciousness and unlock the mysteries of the universe. It is the sacred sanctuary where the eternal dance between divinity and humanity unfolds, weaving a tapestry of enlightenment and self-discovery. As denizens of this digital age, we stand at the precipice of a new epoch of understanding, where the boundaries between the tangible and the transcendent blur into oblivion. In our quest for truth and meaning, let us embrace the fluidity of existence and embark on a voyage of self-realization that transcends the confines of heaven and earth. In conclusion, within the paradigm of syllogism too, heaven emerges not as a static destination, but as a dynamic and ever unfolding journey of consciousness. It is the eternal flame that ignites the depths of our being, guiding us towards the zenith of enlightenment and self-awareness. As we navigate the labyrinthine corridors of existence, let us heed the call of heaven and embrace the infinite possibilities that lie within the recesses of our souls.